Welcome to Dr. Chester Rants, and I'm going to rant about censorship from Ars Technica. Rockstar edits out transphobic content from GTA 5 remasters. Ars Technica, Ars Technica. Anyway, parent changes come after pressure from the press and Alphabet developers. In recent years, the press and the Alphabet groups have been putting pressure on Rockstar Games to remove or change content they see as transphobic in the Grand Theft Auto V. Now players have noted a few such changes to transgender representation, the expanded and enhanced upgrades to the game, recently released for the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series XS. Do you remember when Rockstar usually told the government and um, multiple groups to go fuck themselves? Yeah. Ah, those were the days, weren't it? Mmm, mmm, mmm. It was good. Do you remember Christian lady groups would come out and say, Oh my god, this is against Jesus! Jesus! And this is against the morality. Think of the children! And Rockstar would practically go and say, Fuck you. And that's about it. Do you remember those days? Ah... <sighs> We used to love Rockstar because of that. It was good. Hmm. I hear. Oh, baby. Anyway, today, today, they pretty much buckle under any pressure, even if the cesspool of the cesspool of the cesspool of well, the place where nobody wants to go to, which is an absolute disaster. Even the people who own the website are going bankrupt because of it. Kotaku. Yeah. <clears throat> That shit-o who wrote the article requesting for it to be changed and now they buckle under pressure, which is evidence of censorship. I think I need to save this article on my notes. Anyway. <clears throat> Reddit user James no, cannot say his name, was among the first to notice a change to the action figures lining the wall of the office in the in-game arcade. A hot pink clad Captain Space Toy figure in the box highlighting well, it's interchangeable genitalia. And what has been removed the new console version of the game, an alternative figure with a more reserved outfit and, quote, possible vomit direction, quote, remains on the wall. Yeah. Rockstar used to make games in which they mocked everybody. But everybody was goddamn fucking free game. Good god, fucking cat fur. And out of my fucking eyeball. Okay, no. It did not come out. Hmm. Do you remember back in those days? Everybody was a free game. <sighs> now, now, it's all about a disgrace and censorship. And more on, on that. Most of the stuff they showed on GTA 5, you can actually go and find it on the real world. Especially on the transgender part. Have you ever been to a, um, a pride parade or seen pictures of it? You're gonna find a lot of people like that to worse. <clears throat> Why isn't Kotaku actually writing articles talking about those pride parades and about the outfits that they find in there? Isn't that pretty much what, um, if you'll excuse me, let's see if I can quote here. Let's see, groups of hundreds of alphabet games professional within the industry. No, unlike what they run on PC, the way they design trans people, where did I, ah, here it is. Actively plays into the hateful stereotypes harbored by many transphobic players. Why don't you just say the same thing about pride parades then? Hmm? Because many, many people in there actually do wear outfits similar to that to wars that you find on GTA 5. But no, no, it's double standards. It's the go-to. Anyway, <clears throat> let's see what it says. Uh, in the new GTA 5, GTA, oh, Rockstar appears to have disabled the trans caricatures of drag queens from spawning outside cockatoos. This could be following, I oh, goddammit, I forgot again, a plea from out making games last year. I hope this provides comfort to those who felt the emphasis depicted harmful stereotypes. 
Uh, go suck a cock, people. Go suck a cock. Because there is nothing, uh, nothing in here. Ah, Jesus Christ, that was harmful. He was just playing around with the goddamn... Ah, Jesus. <sighs> Give me patience. Patience. Anyway, Christy Cloud, who helps run fan community GTA Net, has highlighted that the over-the-top trans women characters models appear to refer to as drag queen in the game files, the long spawn outside Cockatoo and an in-game nightclub. While those characters models still be accessed in the game sandbox style director mode, dialogue options that make explicit reference to their gender and sexuality have been removed. So even more censorship. Well, no problem, it's erasing trans representation in the game, so that should be okay to the transphobes, right? Hey, you people are goddamn fucking retarded. You are erasing trans representation in the game, so hmm. Not my problem. Rockstar hasn't responded to requests for comment on the apparent changes, but um, the move comes months after the content that, like this was labeled transphobic. By out making games, a self-described group of hundreds of alphabet games professionals working in the UK games industry. In an open letter read in September, the group cited coverage from Kotaku, Caroline Petit, from calling out problems with the trans representation in the original 2013 release. FYI, Caroline, the tit is, well, it's just suffice to say, there's pronouns in the bio. Quote, Unlike other random NPCs, the way Rockstar designs the A5 trans people, it's uh, actively plays into the hateful stereotypes harbored by many transphobic players. The trans sex workers you encounter with their garish makeup and prominent, prominent Pierius Bulgers seems calculated to be ridiculous and repulsive to players, so bring their pre existent transphobia to the game with them. It's as if they have the yeah, other signs specifically so that players could relish hurting and killing them because they are trans. End quote. No, you absolute fucking retard! They are pretty much just a. Uh, the average exaggerated, well, maybe stereotype in that case, but still, it's pretty much what you find in pride parades. You have a problem with pride parades? Oh. Mm. No, you don't. <sighs> Some critics have been noticing GTA 5 reducted from derogatory treatment of trans characters since the game's original release. Why you have no problem with the... Sorry? Reductive and derogatory treatment of... Whites, Blacks, Asians, Latinos, Males and Females, <clears throat> Gamers, uh, Hobbyists in general, uh, Restaurateurs, Italians, um, Russians, Ukrainians, uh, Eastern people, mm, British, uh, what else do they actually use? Chinese, Japanese, uh, mm, even people who love cars and uh, uh, people who love guns, uh, rednecks, uh, who else that they have done a reductive and directory treatment of characters? Uh, so basically everyone. You don't have a problem with those so suddenly, right? Hmm, that's fascinating, isn't it? Right, let's continue. The covers. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. And Jessica Condor to express concerns that then the upcoming remasters won't reflect how both uh, the conversation around transgender rights, visibility, and violence has changed significantly in the seven years. End quote. Uh, for the love of God. Mm, let's see. I think there's a huge responsibility in all of it. Outside of media, man, do not rely on lazy stereotypes. It seems this guy never actually played a Grand Theft Auto game because everything in there is kind of like a stereotype of pretty much everything. So it's so it mocks everybody. Jesus Christ! And when you're university lecturer, why do you call yourself a doctor in that case? But yeah, anyway, beyond my purview. Anyway, now, uh, quote. 
In the Grand Theft Auto series, a lot of stereotypes to me seem to be there just for the comedic effect. Well, yes, it's just for the comedi comedic effect, you but butthole! They're just there so that trans people and alphabet people are more bodily out of joke. <laughs> ah, go suck a cock. The new console remasters, uh... Oh, for fuck's sake. Another voice that I need to make. Hmm? No. A uh, great opportunity to remove transphobic elements from the game and have a positive impact on the new generation of players who will pick up a copy. Given the cultural impact of the uh, GTA 5 on the world, Rockstar has a social responsibility for your players. Many of them may be alphabets to your staff and to the world at large. Do not promote violence against trans and gender diverse people. And quote. Well, so basically what you're trying to tell people is that the alphabet people are beyond parody, are beyond mockery, are beyond actually representation in the game. Meanwhile, if you are on your other demographic, you're A-OK. -okay. This isn't the first time questionable content has been added out of GTA over time. The Confederate flag was removed from certain locations in Grand Theft Auto V and from a character shirt in the remastered GTA Trilogy. Yeah, that's another retarded uh, change and the GTA Trilogy is a disaster. And Rockstar has reissued a new version of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas after modders unlocked an otherwise inaccessible hot coffee sex mean game included on the disc leading to a ratings change from ESRB. That's probably the only time I actually understand or understood why Rockstar did what it did. Or why they supported what it did. Because it would actually actively change the... And let's see if I'm gonna do this. Because it actually changed the ratings of the game. It actually would make it illegal to actually go and, and and publish the game the way it was because there is the ratings nonsense you know the people behind it it's uh, a bit of a pickle anyway let's go and cover this <sighs> please don't harass these people don't go and talk to them or anything of the retarded nonsense. Let's see what voice. And here, I'm sorry, you not sorry, but gamers who are mad are the rocks to remove your foggy stuff from CTR games I care about. <laughs> yeah, well, if you lose money, it's your wage anyway. You're gonna get fired from the company because they are going to go bankrupt. So, um, uh, nobody cares. Mm. Well, quite yeah, I see. I see a few people have asked and Ryan not explain directly on it for obvious reasons. Check out this great thread by Chrissy Cloud, who sums it up better than good anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I've recently been working for Rockstar three years as of today, and I want to say, damn, I still love my job. Or oh, rather, only cat children is been every day painting them, yes. This is just a second, yes. So basically, you know, the person who is behind a lot of the changes. Hmm. Or the person who is, oh, well, working at Rockstar and he kind of explains the disaster that it is today. Anyway, here we go, another one. And this Rockstar in the wrong Rockstar. Good, LMAO. <laughs> Well, now you know, Rockstar is uh, dead and gone. And, um, yeah, that's why I probably, um, if I spend money on them, it's probably on a game that is exceptionally and utterly under the heavy sale mark. And uh, there's nothing that I should actually bother in paying for those garbages of a game that is still now, especially the remaster, if it ever comes out on PC. I hope the gamers actually can. Well, fix the game because Rockstar is ruining it. God damn it, these people are absolutely retarded. 
Stereotypes of other people? Okay. Stereotypes from an alphabet group? No, 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 no. Yeah. And that goddamn fucking hell. Have a great fucking night.